Good afternoon. I'm Jonathan Chan. I'm the Financial Service Director of Philips Security. I joined Philips Security in year 2000 and I have more than 25 years of experience in this financial industry. I do organize a lot of uh, retirement seminars and I focus um, on creating multiple streams of passive income for my client's retirement. Today, I would like to discuss with you a topic. Um, is cash still king? Throughout my past six years of uh, uh, retirement seminars that I have organized on a monthly basis, I've come across a lot of prospects and clients who like to keep a lot of cash. Okay, whether it's in CPF a few hundred thousand and then uh, in cash a few hundred thousand to a million, the highest amount of cash that I've come across is three million put in the bank fixed deposit. Okay, but of course over here for the past few years, uh, bank fixed deposit is uh, roughly about 2% and with 1 million, they still can receive up to about 20,000 of interest per year. Not too bad, okay? Um, but with inflation at, let's say, 2.5% and inflation adjusted in 10 years' time, their 1 million was still worth about 952,000. But COVID-19 set in and interest start to cut. So over here, you can see right now, interest rate, probably the highest you can get is about 0.7%, and which means that at 1 million, what they can receive is only 7,000 of interest per year. And with inflation adjusted, the 10, in 10 years time, their 1 million will only worth about 837,000. So this is a bit of concern to them. So a lot of prospects and clients and start uh, calling me and asking me whether I got any solution to get a higher payout or not. But it must be liquid and it must be guaranteed in principle. One of my clients has recently asked me, Jonathan, how do you manage your cash? She said, both her and her husband only keep cash in fixed deposit, which is typical. And because they always think that a crisis may be coming and they have to get prepared. They may need cash to upgrade their house, but they have been talking about it since seven years ago. And they may also need to send their children for overseas study. They mentioned it since their kids is age seven and eight. Now their kids is about 12 and 13. My answer, I only set aside 100,000 as emergency fund and invest the rest of my cash. About 50% of my money is invest, invested in capital guarantee insurance product, which is more like a fixed deposit plan that provide me with a almost risk-free return of about 4% per year from the six years onwards. And after five to eight years, they become my emergency fund, which I'm able to cash out at any time. The other 50, Percent of my cash is invested in our dividend portfolio, which um, will pay out a monthly dividend, which I reinvested for my retirement. And Philip Global Perspective Portfolio, which invests in US big global company to grow my money. There's a simple trick to actually um, manage your cash. And the trick over here is compartmentalize your cash. Presume that you have 1 million of cash in the bank right now. What you need to do is, firstly, you have to set your financial objective. Secondly, you have to divide your 1 million of cash into different pot of money to cater for your financial objective. And lastly, you got to further segregate your financial objective into short term, medium term, and long term. This will further facilitate in the way you invest the cash in all these different pot of money. Take for instance, if you think that you may want to upgrade your house, then you have to set the property, the type of property you want to uh, upgrade to and allocate your CPF and a portion of cash for future housing upgrade. Secondly, I may need to send my children for overseas study. Then you have to choose the uni, whether is it from Australia to UK or to US, and set aside 
monthly saving and invest this uh, cash and grow them. And in case your children are studying local, you can reallocate this cash to your retirement fund. Lastly, you may need cash in case of em emergency. A lot of my clients and prospects has put huge amount of cash from 200,000 to five to or more than 500,000 in the bank fixed deposit only to cater for emergency. And when I ask them, some kept for five years, some 10 years, some as long as 15 years. And to them, the crisis has never arrived. So they just keep their money in the fixed deposit to earn a very low interest. So the trick over here is set aside about six to eight months of expenses as emergency is good enough. And start converting most of your cash into those low risk plans that has high liquidity and capital guarantee. Okay. And invest the rest to grow your money. Thus, is cash still king? Nope. Cash in fixed deposit is never king. But cash that is working hard for you is. Thank you for joining me with this session and uh, you have a nice day.